expected something, something better than before. We expected something more. Do you really think you can just put it in a safe behind a painting, lock it up and leave? Do you really think you can just put it in a safe behind a painting, lock it up and leave? Hey buddy, how you feeling? Okay, move your legs, okay, sit still, don't move, okay? Your head hurts, okay. Hey, buddy. All right, sit still, I'm going to let some fires on the way. Rescue 55 on scene. We have two vehicles with uh, major damage. Give you a port in a second. Can't move your legs? Okay, how about you? Engine 55, copy on scene with two vehicles, major damage, standing by for an update. Break.
Were you drinking tonight? Yes. How much do you think you had? Um, not a lot. Not a lot. What's like not a lot? Beer, two. Two, what? I think. Two beers. When did you start drinking? A few hours ago. This is Anthony, 18 year old male, right front passenger, and I have a right fracture to the uh, right arm. Currently, uh, BP 105 is 45, heart rate 50, we've got an IP wide open. One, two, three. And what was his name again? Anthony. Anthony? Anthony. 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 I'm Dr. Zofi. I'm one of the trauma surgeons. Any he he hearing problems? Can you hear us? Okay, I'm going to have you take a nice deep breath for me, okay? Nice deep breath. Take a deep breath. There you go. Is that hurt at all? What I want you to do is look at the tip of my pen, okay? Okay. You can focus on that. I want you to follow the tip of my pen, keeping your head still. Move with your eyes only. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Keep your head still, please. Keep your head still, please. Focus. Still with us? Still with us? He's fading, guys. He's fading. Let's get that airway. The antibiotics, too. I'm great. Okay. When I instruct you to, I want you to lift whatever leg you want to, your right or your left, six to eight inches off the ground, pointing your foot outward. What I want you to do is stare at the tip of your foot and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Yes. Just lost consciousness. Okay, we're going to get a tube in. We're going to put a tube in. We're going to tube. I'm directly. Okay. There you go. Tube is in, guys. Tube's in. Okay, check for a pulse, please. Check for a pulse. No, no pulse? No. Okay. 1,001, 1,000. 1,003. Okay. Let's go. We need to give some some compressions. <clears throat> some pressures. I'm gonna go. There we go. Okay. I'm making the incision. Put the chest tube in. Okay. We got a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Get set up for the other. Keep doing the chest. 1,006. 1,007. 1,008. Doctor Fulton, check that right side here. This young man's in bad accident. I think we've got some bilateral rib fractures. We've lost pulses on him. I've got a chest tube in on the right side. Left finger. Put it back. Remember, eyes closed, head back. Left finger. We've got a lot of blood coming out. Call, call blood bank. Let's start mass transfusion. Okay, let's hold chest compression, check, check pulse again. Right finger. Pull it back. Right finger. Okay, let's switch out. Okay, he's going down. Okay, what I want you to do is when I put this up to your mouth, take a deep breath, wrap your mouth around that white piece and blow like you're blowing up a balloon. Ready? Deep breath. Blow, 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 blow. Keep going. Blow, 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 blow. Blow, blow, blow. Keep going. Keep going. Good. No pulse? No pulse. Do you have a carotid? I don't know. I think, I think we've lost him. I don't think we can help him. Go ahead and place your hands around. Oh, I'll your back, please. I believe you are under the influence of alcohol. 7 3 copy, 10 15, 10 15, 7 hours. under arrest for DUI. Come on. Okay, let's go ahead and call it. Time of death, 1107. Okay. 11.07. Is uh, any family here? I think mom just arrived. Okay. Um, I'll talk to her. Why don't we go ahead and get things uh, cleaned up and I'll, I'll bring her back here. Okay. okay. We're going to go up these stairs and inside. Okay. This is when I release your hand out of here. I want you to put your right hand on top of your head for me, okay? okay. Come on, sit down here. Okay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, it's almost like the other machine where you're gonna start to blow consistently and steady until I tell you to stop. You got it? 
ready, deep breath, and blow. Blow, 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 blow. Okay, stop. So we're gonna we're gonna call your parents, correct? You want me to inform your parents what you're doing? Okay, so hold on. I'm just gonna hand the phone to you, okay? Here you go. Mom, I got in an accident. I'm at the police station. It was, we were drinking and I, I was driving and we crashed. Good. Good. Stand still, look forward at the camera, please. Hi, this is Remington. Hello. Hi, I'm Dr. Zofi. I'm one of the trauma surgeons here at the hospital. Uh -huh. Well, they brought Anthony here by helicopter. Were you aware of that? Yeah. He was in a, a bad accident. And uh, unfortunately, there's no easy way for me to tell you this, but um, he, he didn't make it. Uh, we couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get him um, to survive. Uh, unfortunately, he had really bad injuries to his chest and to his head, and um, he wasn't in pain. Uh, we did everything we could do, but unfortunately, uh, I have to give you that bad news. Is there anything I can do for you? Do you have any questions? Or we're, we're gonna let you come back and see him, okay? But again, I'm really, really sorry. All right, good afternoon. I'll call the matter of people versus Sydney Saldana. And are you Sydney Saldana? Yes. All right, at this time, um, you have been arrested and charged with the following uh, charges. Count one charges you with felony violation of Penal Code Section 191.5, gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. Count two charges you with a misdemeanor violation, Vehicle Code 23152A, driving while you're under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. Count three charges you with a misdemeanor violation of Vehicle Code 23152B, driving with a blood alcohol content of 0.08% or higher. This time, are you able to afford an attorney? No. Are you currently employed or do you have an income? All right, sounds to me like you would be eligible for the services of a public attorney. Would you like me to appoint one to represent you? Yes. All right, I'll go ahead and appoint the Public Defender's Office. Um, Melanie Collins, on behalf of the Public Defender's Office, I would accept the appointment and ask the court to do a formal arraignment. Now I'm gonna advise you of the rights that you have. You have the right to an attorney because you couldn't afford one, we appoint an attorney to represent you. You have the right to have a preliminary hearing and a speedy and public trial. And then finally, you have a right to a reasonable bail. Based upon the nature of these charges, bail would be set at $105,000 based upon our schedule. For solid jones for the people, there are two decedents in this case. So I would ask the court to remain, to leave bail at, at schedule. And if counsel would like to file a written motion and conduct a hearing to lower the bail schedule, that's fine. But at the time of the arraignment, I would ask the court to set bail at schedule. So it was my intent to set bail at schedule based upon the nature of the charges. There are two decedents involved. Last day for a preliminary hearing is May 9. And then we'll use that same date for the preliminary hearing. 
will conclude our proceedings. All right. I'm sorry I was drinking. I'm sorry I got into that car. I'm sorry I drove after drinking. All my life I was told not to. But I guess I thought I was better than that. I thought I would be fine. But I guess it's a little too late for those thoughts. It's a little too late for me. Can we please turn back time? Give me another chance? Let me make a better choice? I promise I'll be stronger and smarter next time.